we all have come across a situation when we have to calculate the same cell reference or same range reference from multiple sheets. If you are not aware of 3D reference in Excel and you are doing this in conventional manner, then with increasing number of sheets, the formula becomes more and more complex and even annoying. So today, in this video, we will see how we can use 3D reference in Excel and how this can simplify our job. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. We have a workbook here which has sales of different regions in different sheets and we want to get some of each month from all these sheets in our total sheet. First, let us do this in conventional manner. Now although we got the result but repeating this again for 11 more times is too tedious and moreover there are even chances of errors if we miss any cell or include any twice. And just imagine if the number of sheets in this project increases. So the bottom line is that although the conventional method can get us result but it is not scalable. So now let us see how 3D referencing can help us. We will sum the next month's total with 3D referencing. We will use the sum formula here. Now instead of giving the cell range, we will give the worksheet range which should be enclosed in single quotation. After this we need to give an exclamation mark and finally the cell reference which we are looking to sum and we got the result. Now we can see the clear difference between the size of the formula. Not only the size but the formula also written in conventional manner looks more complex than the one written by using 3D referencing. The complexity and length of the formula written in conventional manner will go on increasing with the increasing number of sheets. But the formula written with 3D referencing remains constant no matter how much ever the sheets are included in this formula. There is one more benefit of using 3D referencing. It is very easy if we decide to include additional sheets in this formula after our task is completed. We just need to drop our sheet which we want to include in the formula anywhere between our worksheet range which we have defined in the formula in this manner. Let us do this one more time and this time we will observe our total before and after inserting new worksheet just to confirm that our new worksheet's numbers are included in the formula. So this is the total of February. Now let us drag drop our new sheet between our formula range. Let's see if the total has changed and it has. So you saw how easy it is to include new sheets in the existing formula. Let me show you one more exciting thing about this when using 3D reference in formula we can even use wildcards here. For those who doesn't know what wildcard is, these are characters which are extremely helpful when you want to find results that are something less than exact. We will sum March month's total with 3D referencing using wildcard. We will use the sum formula again. Now instead of giving the worksheet range, we will give the common text in all the worksheet names which we want to include in the formula with asterisk before and after the text which should be enclosed in single quotation. After this, we need to give an exclamation mark as we did earlier and finally the cell reference which we are looking to sum. So with this, we have reduced the length of formula even more and we got the result. When we go back to our formula, we can see that Excel has changed our formula and has smartly included all the worksheets which had the text we provided in their names and excluded the one which didn't. Let us copy this formula in all the cells. Now all this time, we used some formula but 3D reference works with dozens of other formulas. On the screen, I have provided the list of these formulas. You can pause the video and go through the same. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.